middle finger salute seen around the world. The photo here, a cyclist protest. It's fuzzed out, but again, you know what's going on there. Cyclist driving, driving by the presidential motorcade. This happened in Northern Virginia and it became an instant viral photo. Turns out though, the photo has cost this woman her job. Bruce Lachan, talk to her today. And uh, she's actually got no regrets. It was the photo that got her fired, but Julie Briskman says she has no regrets about giving President Trump the middle finger salute. In fact, she says she would do it all over again. Now, I talked to her at her door, but she did not want to go on TV. Still, she did tell me about what happened when she was out biking here by the Trump National Golf Course on her day off. She says she saw the president leaving and her first thought as a motorcade pastor, oh my gosh, he is golfing again. And so, she flipped him off. But then she started thinking about the immigrants that the president was talking about deporting. She started thinking about the people who had been killed in Las Vegas. She started thinking about her old friends at the State Department who felt embarrassed at that point. And she decided to cut around the corner and flip the president off again. The picture got snapped. It went absolutely viral with supporters calling her a shero and using the hashtag her 2020. Even though the photograph was from behind, friends started to figure out it was her, and she actually got some threats from people who weren't her friends on social media. She figured she better tell her boss at Akima LLC as soon as she did. She was pretty quickly led into a conference room and unceremoniously fired. Now, what makes her even more irate about that is she says somebody else who worked for the company, a top official, had an even more profane statement on some of their social media and was not fired, but simply disciplined. She is now talking to the ACLU and considering the possibility of a lawsuit. In Sterling, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.